It is a big, huge world title main event today on Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. Hey everybody, Gilbert Corsi here at the United World Headquarters and I'm just as hyped for this main event as all of you, I'm sure. Because I don't know if there has been a better feud in all of pro wrestling over the last year than the one between the radioactive poppy Danny Limelight and the golden boy Jordan Clearwater. Their last match was well, something special, one for the ages. And in our main event today, they will square off once again for the world championship and this time in a lumberjack match so there is no telling what may happen. We also have another golden opportunity qualifying match for you in this hour as Halston Body's newest acquisition Sledge looks to get ahead by taking down former Halston protege in Dom Kubrick. That should be interesting. And we'll also hear from number one contender Bad Dude Tito and TMZ. But up first we hear from the competitors in that big world title main event. Danny boy, would you look at that? It must be golden standard time because I'm here to reclaim my birthright as United Wrestling Network World Heavyweight Champion. And let's call a spade a spade. The only reason you've been walking around with my belt for the last six months is because of your ex-con cronies. But I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. And that's put you and your scum sucking losers behind bars. So hold my title real nice and tight for me. Shine it up because in the main event, I become a two time United World Champion. And that, that Daniel is pure gold. Tonight's the night, Jordan. Tonight's the night, all me gente watching see you for who you truly are. You see, you're not the golden boy bozo. You're gold-plated, fake gold. And the only real gold that matters in the United Wrestling Network, the only real gold that matters in this world is the United Wrestling Network World Heavyweight Championships. And it sits with the realest poppy, the realest champion, Danny Limelight. That's me. And you know why that is, Jordan? Because I have fought for everything I ever wanted. I've held this company down. I stayed loyal since day one. And when others walked away, I put the company on my back. On the back of a Latino. The same type of gente you look down on. The same type of gente you speak down on. And you know why that is, Jordan? Because you're nothing more than an egotistical dictator with little strudel syndrome. And that is why your embassy crumbled. And tonight, bring that camera real close to Poppy's eyes. I want you to see this is true. This is real. Tonight in front of all the lumberjacks and all the hand they're watching at home in attendance, I'll finish you for good. The following contest is a golden opportunity qualifying match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being come to the ring by Halston Body from San Luis Obispo, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Metalhead Maniac, Sledge! Huge opportunity for Sledge here, a shot to advance to the Golden Opportunity Tournament, where he could certainly do a lot of damage, flanked by the Prism of Excellence, Halston Body, and it seems as if Halston will join us here at the broadcast booth. Welcome. And introducing his opponent from the Barbary Coast, weighing in at 185 pounds, Dom Kubrick! Dom Kubrick looking for the quick start, springboard in, and that takes out Sledge. Not the way you wanted this thing to start, Austin. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Time out on the playing field. Do I need to get in there? Look out now but again, is, Kubrick. Holston, your guy is getting beat right off the top. Whoa, whoa, I did not, I did not ask for any of this. Do not sass me. Listen. What? I think you Don't. might have uh, 
I think you attached your cart to the wrong horse here. It's been all Dom Kubrick in the early going with this shot to advance into the Golden Opportunity Tournament. Perhaps all your mind games with Kubrick are gonna backfire. I don't like any of what I'm seeing right now. I'm in his head, I know I am. He's, I, trust me on this. I. Don't you look at me, Dom. Don't you look at me like that. I think you well, just fueled Kubrick, who came out here like a man possessed, but gets, gets hung out to uh, dry there by the powerhouse sledge. What's your end game with Kubrick? You've, you've helped him, you've heard him, you've said that you know he can't succeed without you, and if he doesn't join you, that he's gonna be doomed to fail. What's the deal? The end game is championship gold. That's always what it's going to be. But Dom needs to listen. Dom needs to understand he cannot do this by himself. He needs help. And as you saw, when he lost EJ Sparks, he clearly needed help. Yeah, but what a phenomenal matchup, and there's no shame in that. EJ Sparks has, has already advanced into the Golden Opportunity okay. Tournament, did so by defeating the monstrous R3. And P.S., by the way, as you can tell, Dom's not doing so great right now, is he, Kenley? Well, you can act like you don't like Dom or you d doubt him, but clearly there's a connection there. Clearly you see something in him. I see extreme talent. I, extre I see so much in Dom that he doesn't even see in himself. That's the trick. Then why did you throw him out like yesterday's news for the favor of Lord Crew in the past and now uh, for the favor of the, the Metalhead Maniac Sledge? Because he doesn't want to listen. And he needs to be punished. Like Sledge is punishing him right now. More of what I'm seeing, Sledge, more. Well, Sledge has been quite the weapon of destruction for Prism so far, but I mean, do you think you're actually going to win over a Dom Kubrick by doing the things you've been doing? Do you think you're actually going to get him to want to partner with you and to work with you again after all that he's been through and after this? He's going to learn the easy way, or he's going to learn the hard way. And based on his behavior so far, he's trying to learn the hard way. I'm trying to give him the easy path, and he's not taking it. Well, I think you're trying to give him the, well, if you can't beat him, join him path, but he just might beat you and not join you. That would be the worst day of his life to make that decision. Trust me on that. Let's talk about the Golden Opportunity Tournament and, and the riches that await the winner. Last year's winner, Danny Limelight, parlayed that into his world title reign, a, a reign that continues. You certainly have your sights on that for your man Sledge. Absolutely, a thousand percent. We're going to get him to the top one way or another, whether we have to go through Dom, with Dom, whatever it takes. How does Sledge feel about Dom? Take a look at what's happening in the ring right now. What do you think he feels like? He feels like he's destroying him right now. I mean, how could how could they work together? If he if he did join you, how would he, how would they even work together? Dom has to learn his lessons. That's the bottom line. Once he learns his lessons, then he may just you know, wise up and realize he has to just work as a teammate. Like he has to be part of the team. He's playing for himself right now, and that's not a winning strategy in any of this. Well, he's learning some lessons right now. That that shoulder might be dislocated, courtesy of Sledge. Sledge is starting to physically dismantle Dom Kubrick and coming closer and closer to advancing into the Golden Opportunity Tournament. Sledge in control. This match continues next. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream. 
to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. Welcome back, everyone, to Championship Wrestling Golden Opportunity Qualifying Matchup. Todd Kennelly, Jack Farmer, joined at the broadcast booth by, by Halston Body. And throughout the break, I got to give credit where credit's due. Sledge was dominant. A thousand percent. I, I teach him well, and I know that I gave him the playbook on Dom Huber. This should be a, an easy ride. I mean, I know everything about Dom, and Dom just hasn't realized that yet. Look, Look at the agility, though. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Dom with some big moves. I always say about Dom Kubrick, he's not dangerous from anywhere. He's dangerous from everywhere, and we're seeing that happen here. Right now, Sledge is swinging at Ghost. And Kubrick getting fired up. He had an incredible start to this matchup. He's getting some of that fire back. He's got the advantage. And I'd love to see Kubrick. He came so close to television title gold in the past. I think he's got championship material written all over him. And the Golden Opportu Opportunity Tournament might be his ticket to that outside, inside with the spear. Let's be honest, I'm playing the long game. If one of these gentlemen win and Dom comes on my side, he joins Prism, then one of these gents is getting to the top of that golden opportunity. So I'm playing my cards. The deck is the deck is stacked. Wow, look at this. Incredible blockbuster misdirection play by Kubrick, who can use his environment as a launch pad like few I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I hope I don't have to get out of my chair. I hope I don't have to get out of my chair. Watch, oh, watch. Cover. Here's the cover. So close. You know, I truly believe that Dom Kubrick is someone who is going to have an incredible career, and things are definitely going to take off for him. TK, as you talked about, the way he's able to use misdirection is unparalleled, and that's why we, I agree with you, Halston. I think that I think Dom Kubrick is someone that any group would want to sign. I just don't know why he'd sign with you. Look at the paint here. Look at the paint. He's biting the rope. I really think that shoulder is dislocated, guys. And adrenaline can do wonders, but it's fleeting. It only lasts so long. And Kubrick is in big, he's got a bad injury in there. And that it's only a matter of time before Sledge capitalizes on that. Yet another lesson for Dom to learn. He's going to learn in pain. He's going to learn in punishment. That's how it's going to happen. He's going to get shaken to his core until he has nothing left to, to hide behind. And then he's going to finally wake up and go, I need to be part of prison. Bottom line. I, I think Kubrick's a one-armed man in there right now, Jack. Yeah, he's definitely got a clipped wing here. And I don't care what kind of offense you have. If you only have one arm, you're definitely at a disadvantage, especially against someone as big as <laughs> Sledge is. Just You can hear the jaw crack. You do not want to anger Sledge, Come trust on, me. Oh, there it is. He's riling him up, and that is the worst place for Dom to be. Trust me on this. But I think Sledge is going him into a fight here. I don't think you want to get in a slug fest with, with Sledge, but Kubrick up to the task. You don't have to see someone like Sledge to know you don't want to get in a fist fight with someone named Sledge. But when you see how big he is, you realize right away. Until he's on the mat. You're all Go the same cover. size when you're on the whoa, mat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sledge is down. Close call, near fall. Oh Kubrick showing tons of fight. But see, now that's why you now um, that's answering the question right there. He's got that much fight in him. I want him on my team. If he's willing to take on somebody like likes of Sledge with that much power, why would I not want him? But what if Kubrick wins here, advances, and tells you to kick rocks? Then he'll pay dearly. He will pay so dearly. He has no idea what's around the corner. Well, a, a nope. shot to take that path. That opportunity Ooh. path is around the corner for either of these two men. Here's the cover. And Sledge coming so close, razor close, to advancing into the tournament. You know, I, I got I to gotta give Sledge a lot of credit. What a beautiful blue thunder bomb. And I thought that was it, but the heart of Dom Kubrick kicking through and kicking out of that one. You can hear the crowd even getting behind Dom Kubrick, I think, here. Of course they are. I mean, I mean they're, they're idiots, but that's fine. I'm here, to, I'm here to see Sledge win. That's the bottom line on that. This has been toe-to-toe -to -toe warfare between these two, and they might be at a disadvantage in round one of the tournament, whoever wins this, because oh. they are taking each other to the limit. Oh, here it comes. Look oh, out. What, is oh. what, is, what does Sledge have planned here, Halston? The devil it is in his eye. Oh, boy. Got that pump handle. Oh, 
We trying to fight out of it. Trying to fight out of it. Does Kubrick have the strength in that arm? Able to get out of it. And you have to wonder if Dom had the use of both arms, how would this look? But the damage that Sledge did so much earlier. There just, it is. Look at that. That's the difference just, maker. <laughs> he can't overcome that injury, can Kubrick? He is in deep, deep trouble here. And just tide turning strength. You can't fly high with one arm. That's what I'm saying. Look at this. More punishment. Sledge making him pay the price. And look at this huge beal. And again, that's got to send shockwaves through the entire body, including that arm and shoulder. Oh, this is total mutilation now by Sledge. You want to see a dead body? It's lying in the ring right now. Oh, look at that face. Finish him. I don't think uh, Kubrick's going to be able to stand by me anytime soon. He can't get back to his feet. Sledge in control, but you can't toy with Kubrick. This guy's got so much heart, will to win, will to survive. You're going to put him away, you better do it fast. Oh, just dead lifting Dom there. Oh, oh DDT, no. Oh, boy, the power. Too much power by Sledge, boy. Oh. Excuse me, boys. Here I gotta go raise a hand. Advancing to the Golden Opportunity Tournament, Sledge! There you see it, Halston. So happy. I thought that Kubrick was gonna maybe be able to counter that into a DDT. If he had the, the, the full strength in that arm, perhaps he would. But too much power, too much physical domination by Sledge. I hate to give Halston body credit, but he seems to have gotten himself a weapon that is completely undeniable in Sledge. And I I'm a believer in Dom Kubrick, but just too much today from the bruiser Sledge here. A weapon of mass destruction that could cause big damage. Anybody who advances to Golden Opportunity, take note and take heed. Sledge is on the attack. Or coming your way on Championship Wrestling. Megan Harmon standing by with the United World Tag Team Champions. Guys, congrats on retaining your titles last week. So what's next for TMZ? Tell them, Trey. What's next? As far as these titles are concerned, they're already spoken for by myself, Shane Hayes, and Bad Dude Tito over here. But what people keep forgetting is that my man Bad Dude Tito right here is the number one contender. So why don't you remind them, Teets? That's right. You're looking at the number one contender to that United Heavyweight Championship. Danny Limelight, you are not safe. You want to put it up against Tom Lawler. You want to put that title up against Jordan Clearwater. It does not matter to me. Why? Because I am the baddest dude in professional wrestling. And it just occurred to me. We have an event coming up, the Golden Opportunity. And you know how we love gold. Love and what better place to take that title from you is the Golden Opportunity. Why? Because we're the lucky leprechauns. We love the gold. Love Danny Limelight, get ready. Jordan Clearwater, get ready. It doesn't matter who has the title, because I am the next champ. Strong words from the champs. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. This 
stage is set by our ring announcer, Sean Smith, and you could just see the imposing figure that stands in the way of Danny Limelight, 6'5", 265. Yeah, Danny's going to have to use his speed and, and wrestling mind because he is in the ring with a ruthless Rocco Bellagio. One of the reasons, you know, he, he does consider himself to be so ruthless, he knows it's not 10 years ago. He right. knows he's he doesn't have as much time left as he would like. He wants to take advantage of every single second left in his career. I say that Rocco Bellagio has every uh, everything to gain here. Yeah. One, two, Danny's at the top three, of his game. And he's Dan the champion. And look, Danny's a fighting champion. He's put down a who's who of opponents to maintain his grasp of this title. And Rocco oh, sure. was really given this title opportunity based on his past resume, especially in this area of the country. I mean, think about the people that we've saw seen uh, Danny defend against already, whether it was Eddie Kingston. Which that match ended up being a complete debacle, but at the same time, Danny walked away with that title. That was at our massive red carpet rumble event. Wildly successful red carpet rumble, which you can watch on our YouTube channel. Invictus Cash was the victor there. He also has a future United World title opportunity coming up. But Danny is no stranger to taking on a... a, a oh, my a, God! Oh, my! Over the top! All the way over the top to the floor! Rocco Bellagio imposing his will, imposing his might, on, showing his power. On top of that, just the massive shoulders being a launching pad, sending Danny to the outside. And if Danny needed to be woken up, that just happened. What is going through Limelight's mind right now? Have you seen him manhandled like that before, Johnny? Oh, absolutely not. Event time, ladies and gentlemen, Derby City Wrestling, Gilbert Corsi, Johnny LaQuasto at ringside from the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. The champion, Danny Limelight, has been punished the, since the beginning of this match from the larger challenger in Rocco oh. Bellagio. And Bellagio just went for the plunge, but Limelight able to counter, but now the massive boot into the cover, turned Limelight inside out. And Gilbert, you can see the pain etched on the face of our champion. Rocco went into a months long training camp leading into this match, bumping around yes. in the squared circle every single day. He says his return now to wrestling is a, a hungrier man than he was before. He wants to take advantage of every single opportunity, and there's none bigger in the United Wrestling Network than this one right now. Hoisting up limelight, and oh, a backbreaker right to the lumbar spine. Rocco rules this city, but he wants to rule the United Wrestling World, and he said he sees no better way to do that than to knock the lights out on Danny Limelight. And we also encourage you to go back and watch the title match between Limelight and Jordan Clearwater. The entire United Wrestling Network celebrated Limelight. It was such a struggle for him to get the opportunity, and sure. credit to the Golden Boy. He was a tremendous champion, but it was almost a ruling with an iron fist in many different ways. He had the embassy behind him, and Limelight found a way to crumble that embassy. And listen, if you want to know about the resilience of Danny Limelight, this is a man who's at the top of his game, top of his career right now. But what he has fought through is so telling. He says, oh, oh. Time, window open, window open for the champion. A massive plunge to the corner goes Bellagio, and now Danny Limelight finally has a bit of an opening here. Slingshot over the top. Samson lands right to the chest. Limelight says that at one time he, he, in his life he was broke, he was homeless, he was alone, but he never gave up. And it's that grit and that passion that has helped him work his oh. way to the top in the United Wrestling Network. Can he stay there now with Rocco Bellagio nipping at his heels? Up to the top, Meteora connects. That's one way to take down a monster. And the momentum taking Bellagio all the way to the outside. I think that was part momentum and a part of veteran man, uh, maneuver. Rocco's trying to, to stop the press, to stop the offense of Danny Limelight. Well, that's but not going to happen. Danny Limelight with springs in his feet, corkscrew to the floor. And Limelight has beyond a second win here. Limelight proving why he is the United World Champion tonight, Johnny. Well, he still has a long way to go. He needs to submit 
or get Bellagio's shoulders down for a count of three as he heads up to the mezzanine. Danny perched on top. Oh, frog splash connects. Is that going to do it? The leg is hooked. Could it be over here? Mm. Rocco still alive. And at this point, the thoughts have to seep into the brain of Danny Limelight. What will it take to keep someone like Bellagio down? Sure. Is there enough gas in the tank? Do I have the power? And once again, heading up top. He never found a risk he didn't want to take. Oh, no. And he's caught. He's caught in the grass. The mayor of Punch Town delivers. Oh, is this no. going to be it? This is the way Rocco wins matches. We're going to have a new champ here. Two and nine tenths. Two and nine tenths. And Rocco thought it was finished. Rocco is seething. And Limelight's in trouble. Could have been instinct alone, but somehow the champion stayed in after that destructive plunge. How many matches has Rocco Bellagio won with that? A lot of plunge? them. A lot of them. He's the longest reigning champion in Louisville's history, and he thought he was taking the gold home away from Danny Limelight tonight. But Rocco's got to stay focused. He's got to stay focused. He's wasting seconds when he's arguing with the referee there. Oh, go power power. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, wow. Limelight, brilliant balance to get out of that. Oh, look out. Oh, wait a minute. Climbs Rocco like a tree and has got him locked in. Is that a sleeper? That is a sleeper. The, the, and it's sunk in good. It's sunk in good. Cutting off the, the blood flow to the carotid artery. And look at oh Rocco. My. Limelight won the title with the Modi Sanyando, and he's got it locked in right now. And Rocco's going night night. The champion retains. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. Don't worry, it's fake. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with Safe.Pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. The following contest is a lumberjack match scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United World Championship! Main event time. And here you see the golden boy, but he hasn't had the gold in the form of the United Wrestling Network world title since this past December when he was defeated by the current champion, Danny Limelight. Now, the former champ thinks he's got the advantage here because this lumberjack stipulation, the ring is surrounded by competitors, and I think that Clearwater figures that that's his way to nullify the bodega. Well, what's what's this going on as we see Jack right. Banning and maybe Jordan some Clearwater? You know, maybe maybe there is a big plan here that's, that's coming together. It's not a bad one. The bodega will be there for Danny Limelight. This kind of nullifies them. We see Sledge out there as well. And EJ Sparks, but you're right, you do have the bodega because at ringside are Papo Esco and Slice Boogie. And again, this the highly anticipated, there you see a good look at I King mean, Fat Boy Papo Esco. I, certainly, uh, Papo be Esco a could be a one man lumberjack crew. Sure. And there you see Slice Boogie back on the scene, back in action, looking bigger and badder than ever. This is the highly anticipated rematch. Clearwater, 
limelight to coming your way lumberjack match. Cannot wait. And here you see the champion, as I mentioned, won the title back in December, had worked his way through and won the first ever Golden Opportunity Tournament to get that shot, a shot that he cashed in on, defeated the longest reigning United World Champion in history, that being Clearwater. What a reign it has been for Limelight against the likes of Eddie Kingston, Clark Connors, Zicky Dice, Tom Waller, even traveled to Derby City Wrestling, took on Rocco Bellagio. I mean, he has been a fighting champion who didn't have to utilize the champion's advantage, didn't have to utilize the way the embassy, the way Clearwater did during his reign. Yeah, they say that's my champ when Danny Limelight's in the ring. Truly a people's champ and a world champ. We don't just say world champ for no reason, but we say it because people from all over the world have lined up to take a shot at that title, and Danny Limelight has retained it each and every time. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Clearwater is requesting complete silence while he takes his robe off. Jordan Clearwater says if nobody be quiet, he will leave the Irvine Improv. Good luck leaving with some of these lumberjacks. That's the whole point of this style of matchup. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide in the lumberjack match. Introducing the challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing at 235 pounds, the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. set. Huge rematch for the United Wrestling Network world title. And this is a lumberjack match. And Jack, in, the, in professional wrestling, there's several ways that you settle a score, you settle a feud. You think of, you think sometimes a steel cage match, a dog collar match. And a lumberjack match is one of those classic style matchups we haven't seen in quite some time. And you know the reason it started, it started back with the Lumberjacks, if there, was, if there was a beef, if there was an issue to be settled, they would fight it out. They'd be surrounded by their brother and their fellow Lumberjacks, and if somebody tried to run and escape the fight, they would be thrown right back in. There had to be a winner. There's gotta be a winner in this one with the title on the line. You know, I don't know if I've seen a group of tree clearers that would rival the group around this ring of Lumberjacks right now. Just a murderer's row of big, tough fellas and I do not envy either of these guys if they find themselves outside of the ring in this one, a huge main event. Yeah, and certainly normally, you know, in a lot of Lumberjack matches, they'll do more than simply throw people back in the ring. We'll see here, and, and this was not a good side, perhaps, for Clearwater to try and escape, because he's got Slice Boogie right there, and Papalesco of the, of the bodega. Both Danny Limelight's friends, and two guys I think would love to lay a beating down on Jordan Clearwater but they'll leave that to Danny for now. No escape plan's gonna work in this one. You got the United Wrestling Network World Tag Team Champs on the stage as well. Tito and Jay Cabrera, so good luck getting out of there. But again, Clearwater doesn't really wanna run in here or he'll squander his shot at the title, but might be unfriendly territory out there for the champion. Wow, oh, look at the agility. The acrobatics of the radioactive Bobby coming off the top rope and taking down Jordan Clearwater. These are the kind of moves that made Danny Limelight a champion to begin with. Incredible agility 
as you know, some of the Lumberjacks on the outside might have tried to take a cheap shot. Limelight was having no part of it, but Clearwater, the former champion, trucking the champ there. With that lightning quick speed, Danny Limelight is back up to his feet and back on the offense. And already Jordan Clearwater down in the corner. Not a good start for the Golden Boy. Takes the wheels out from under the champion. And now look at this. And look, wow. Tito. Look, Tito has a reason to want to take on Danny Limelight. Has a reason to want to beat him up. Right. Tito has a shot coming up himself. He does. He won a, a fatal four-way matchup at the Red Carpet Rumble. Match that uh, featured the likes of Sean Dean, Willie Mack, Joey Janela. So yeah, <laughs> trying to get a couple shots in there. Trying to get double gold is Tito. He's a reigning tag team title holder. He's got a shot at the world title down the line. The challenger, Clearwater, the golden boy in control, but will he hold the gold after this one? We'll be back. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. Welcome back, everyone, to our main event. TK Todd Kennedy, Jack Farmer here with the call of the action. The Nine Wrestling Network world title on the line in a Lumberjack match. And right now, the former champ, the Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater, in control. Yeah, if you're just tuning in and you're noticing your palms are a little sweaty and your heart beats right in a little beating a little faster, it's because it's a main event for the world title and it's a lumberjack match. And this might be one of the biggest ones we've ever had. Two guys who hate each other round two. Neither of them want to leave with a loss. Both of them want to leave with the title. Look at this, Honest John of the Institution all over the champion now. You got Banning and Divine out there as well. And when Clearwater came out, he had some words with the Institution and it, it seems like there is some collusion here. And, you know, you don't like to see it, but as we get a pin here, you hate to see it, but at the same time, again, Jordan Clearwater has told us he has a plan. He told us that he had something cooking, and I think we're starting to see it with the institution on the outside. You have to wonder just how deep the ties could be there. Clearwater is utilizing the stipulation of this Lumberjack match to his advantage. I mean, before the break, Bad Dude Tito got some shots, and, and in on Limelight. Limelight, the champion, hasn't been the same ever since. And now right out there to Sledge, and Sledge is a big guy that can cause some damage. Yes, ooh, ooh, so maybe seeing something with Sledge and Egypt. the cover now, look back inside, doesn't hook the leg. But I mean, there's nowhere, and that's the, the case with this style of matchup, there's nowhere right now for the champion to catch a breath. No, the champion, you mentioned he got hit by Tito, then he got hit by Sledge. These are not small individuals. These are not tiny guys with little jabs. These are the kind of guys that can knock you out with each hit. And now the champion trying to fight from his back here, and it's not a good place to be with someone as vicious and cunning as Clearwater. Another shot by the Metalhead Maniac. Series of shots there by Sledge, and certainly EJ Sparks taking uh, taking a little bit of offense to what Sledge is doing there, but not able to do much about it. And again, it just allows, it, it's almost turned into a handicap match here, Jack. Yeah, you can tell that EJ Sparks is trying to approach this more from the right way you're supposed to do it. Just trying to keep the guys in the ring where Sledge looks like he's trying to get some free shots in at the champion. Well, to even the odds, I'm hoping that Clearwater gets thrown out there. They uh, they take some action into their own hands because otherwise this is going to be a, a lopsided affair and the advantage going to the former champion, Clearwater. Well, Clearwater's a former champion for a reason. The guy is smart and he's 
basically your prototypical wrestler. He's big, he's fast, he's strong, he's very intelligent in that ring. He just happens to be a jerk now that Cabrera. likes a shortcut. Now Cabrera, the ball, oh, look at this, Tito with the double axe handle just crowning the champion. I, I mean, I think the... I think more damage has been done on the outside by the Lumberjacks to the champion than has been done on the inside by the challenger and perhaps future champion, a count of two. Well, no one likes to live off of other people's work more than Jordan Clearwater, and he's doing it perfectly here, raining down some fists of his own finally, doing some of his own offense finally. But whether you love it or hate it, this plan is working very well for Clearwater. I think it was genius. He's nullified the bodega for the most part. He no longer has the embassy to back him, but he's he's got some friends in low places. You got to give him points for resourcefulness. Yeah, he had Invictus Cash. Cash is gone. He had Talos. Now Talos is gone. He had Nana. Now Nana is gone. Yet he still finds a way to have a team with him at ringside. But that's not enough to stop Danny Limelight, the champion, firing back. Not where you want to be if you're Clearwater. Look at this, the bodega. EJ Sparks, Flex McCallie, and Beef Candy going to work on the former champion. Clearwater is getting absolutely waylaid out there. As Clearwater went to the bodega and didn't get anything he wanted, but Poppy is firing up. Little uh, Orgullo, some pride, but runs right back in. To a big spine buster into the cover. And Clearwater, you mentioned it. He's a thinking man's wrestler. What a counter there. Just when the champ looked like he had a light at the end of the tunnel, it was a big time freight train coming his way in the form of the former champ. Yeah, you can never count out Jordan Clearwater. The guy is as good as they get. That's why he was the champion in the first place. And look, Jordan Clearwater beat a lot of great wrestlers as well while he was the champion. Ooh, but this is this is not a good place to be. The institution an incredibly dangerous group and oh jeez and, and the mighty zaddies i mean I, I i can't imagine that the champion expected to get brutalized by shay and tito i would think that he would have maybe thought they would be a couple allies out there for him but not the case not at all limelight not even letting a cocky pin get one we get another one Limelight, too much pride to let a cocky pin even get a one count there at first. Jordan Clearwater had to go back and hook the leg for the pin. Still not enough. Yeah, Tito and Shay, I mean, you, you can't blame them. They are prize fighters, and Tito has his eyes on the ultimate prize, that being the world title. Well, yeah, the big winner here might be Tito. Tito being able to see both these guys get damaged, and he sort of gets to pick his spot. Another person that has a shot is Invictus Cash. We mentioned him earlier. He said he's gone. He's gone right now, courtesy of Clearwater and that attack with the chair. So hedging his bets and getting cash out of the out of the picture at the time. A series of, of suplexes here. And again, uh, some mockery by Clearwater here of, of the Latino heritage and Latino heat, namely Eddie Guerrero. And look at this, countering back though, is the champion with a suplex of his own. Bodies are down. Champion and challenger. Who can get up first? Who can get that little something extra? Our title match continues right after this. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream. 
to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. Welcome back. Champion and challenger fight their way back to their feet. And it's the champion that strikes first. And Danny Limelight is reinvigorated, coming back over that top rope, firing back at the challenger like he's done so many times in the past against so many of the biggest names in pro wrestling. Limelight was forged in the fires of competition, had to endure the Golden Opportunity Tournament to get his title shot, won the title, has defended it ever since. But the deck has been stacked in many ways this time. And double knees, shotgun knees there, and you got clear water rolling out, but that's not a good idea when you're out there and he's getting sliced and diced. 99% of the time when your opponent is on a roll, rolling out of the ring to safety is a good move. But on a night like tonight, when the title's on the line in a lumberjack match, it's just more dangerous than ever. And Lime right now just taking out everybody. Two for one special at the bodega took out two members of the tag team champions. But you gotta worry about the Golden Boy as well. Follow a slam by the former champion who is utilizing the rules of this matchup to his advantage into the cover. Looking to make history? No, not yet. Too much fight in the champion, too much fight in Danny Limelight. Danny Limelight has come too far to let it end now. And now we're starting to see just how much Clearwater has left in him. We're seeing how much Clearwater can take and how much he can dish out. But that smile on his face tells me that he's just getting started. Chant rings out. Now, you know, momentarily, Limelight took his focus off of the challenger, attacked both members of the mighty Zaddies, and that allowed Clearwater to get the advantage. But it might come down to who wants it more. Champion, challenger, toe to toe. Well, you know, some people may say it was a distraction taking out the Zaddies. Maybe a distraction going after the, the tag team champions on the outside. But I say this is the kind of person that Danny Limelight has always been. We've seen him come up from nothing to the championship, and he's done it by taking on everybody. And here he comes again, fighting every step of the way against the challenger. And Clearwater was looking for an exploder suplex, maybe another fallaway slam, but the champion having no part of it. But look at the power. And the champion crumbles in a heap again and looking to pick up the pieces. Is Clearwater looking to win the title? And another close call. What does the champ have left in the gas tank at this point? Well, you're noticing that the cocky pins are gone. Now he's going for desperation pins. Now you're seeing Jordan Clearwater get frustrated, get a little upset, wondering why this isn't over yet. He's realizing that Dan Limelight has more fight than he gave him credit for. You heard Slice Boogie when I said, what's the champ got left? He said, he looked over, he said, he's got a lot. He's got a lot, you know, but we'll see if that comes to fruition there. You see that exploder that the challenger was looking for and not a lot of life on the on display right now by the champion. Recipient, another, another cover and another close call. Again, more frustration on the face of Clearwater as Danny Limelight denies him a victory yet again. Another classic between these two. What a rivalry it has been. Current champ, and I guess not my champ when you think of what the faithful here at the Irvine Improv say about Clearwater. Little sign language there by the champion out the back door, trying to muscle him up. Does, but now Clearwater escapes, but can't escape that. What a cannon job clothesline that was. Look out here. Hits a beautiful kick as he gets up the challenger and Danny Limelight takes him for a spin before dropping him down and we get a pin. Into the cover, looking to put him away, no. And Limelight has been getting some airline miles as the champion you mentioned. Defended the title at Derby City Wrestling in Louisville. Recently traveled down to Mexico representing the United Wrestling Network as a world champion. Spoke to elementary school children there. Talked about fighting for your dreams, working hard, and talked about taking on bullies. And that's what the champ's doing here as he's taking on the Gold Boy. 
really the antithesis of everything that Jordan Clearwater is, right? Danny Limelight being a great representative. As Slice Boogie decides to get in on the action. Look out here, Limelight looking for the oh. tornado, but he caught his own man. He caught his own man. He got pulled into harm's way. He got some friendly fire. Papalesco now checking on Slice Boogie, but Slice took the full brunt of that. And again, once again, the former champion taking advantage of this unpredictable environment of this Lumberjack main event. Well, Danny Limelight is someone who likes to throw out a lot of offense, and that time it may have cost his, his friend Slice Boogie on the outside and cost Danny Limelight as, as Clearwater looks to lock, lock in the move here. Yeah, looking for the Goldilock, perhaps. And looking to return gold around his waist. Limelight in deep trouble here as he hits Slice Boogie. Incidental contact. Slice is still down on the outside. Listen, no one says the middle of the ring is the hardest part of the ring, but it's the most dangerous. It's far away from the ropes. It's far away from safety. And Danny Limelight has to fight and claw for every inch to get to that rope. Count is on. Official forcing the break. And damage was done, however. And now look at this. The challenger is measuring the champion, thinking Midas touch. And he's won countless matches with that, Jack. This is a wildly dangerous spot for Danny Limelight to be in, in a very advantageous spot for Jordan Clearwater. Clearwater swings and misses, rolling through. Look at this, he's got the back. And he's got it. This is how he won the title. Took him to tap down. Oh, trying to get out of there in the cover now. Bye bye, got him. He got it. He got him. Here is your winner, and still United World Champion, Danny Limelight. Limelight able to exercise that demon that is the golden boy, the former champion, and obviously Clearwater knew he had to defend that Maurice Onyando because that's how he was put away for the title in the first place. He was able to counter that, but he could counter the quick-thinking champion who scored the one, two, three. Danny Limelight, surrounded by Lumberjacks, had to take on the institution, had to take on TMZ, and had to take on the Golden Boy. It's not plan A, it's plan B, and that's what got Danny Limelight the win here. Heart and a backup plan. And there was a sacrifice play by Slice Boogie, who took the full brunt of that tornado on the outside. That didn't feel good, but this has got to feel good. Successful title defense for their man, the radioactive poppy Danny Limelight, in an absolutely radioactive main event. Lumberjack match that did not disappoint. The sequel is good as the original in this case. And here you see it. The Bodega still strong, now at 100%, sporting a beautiful world championship. This team, I think, is stronger than they've ever been. Certainly looks to be the case. What's next for the champion? We'll see you next week.